Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. B Clothing today here on a beautiful Friday, big day coming up tomorrow at Hilton Coliseum, of course. He is Tim Sitzman. I am Chris Williams. We're here down in 86th Street in Clive. It's good Iowa. to have you back. It's, it's cold out there again, it's, isn't it? It's just a nasty, just a brittle day out there. You know, we got winter back, but that's not to stop us. We got we're, we're showing a few things for spring. Yeah, you know, you know a I lot walked, of color. I walked in, Tim, and this this here shoe. What that stood catch out your to eye? Me. That's a nice looking shoe. Yeah, it's it, a, l a little wingtip. A lot of the younger gentlemen are wearing. Is that, that the one. deal now? Yep, okay. Yeah, that's the deal. They're wearing it with jeans. They're also wearing it with their casual trousers. Even wearing it with a suit. And a sport coat well, and a tie. See this here shoe, you could probably wear with just about anything. Right? Just about anything. It's it gives you a little color. A lot we like to we like to pair it up with a tie that has a little orange in it to accent yeah. the shoe and a and a blue shirt. Maybe put a blazer or a sport coat over it. Makes it a nice looking outfit. That's just one of the many things that are going to be coming in this spring, Chris. And we're excited for spring. But before we get there, we're having our Final closeout going on at 60% off of regular retail until Six, Valentine's. 60%? 60% off. That's above 50. It's above, it's above 50. It's 60% off. You're only paying 40% of the retail price. That's a steal. And that's going to be going on for what's left of our winter, fall, and winter goods. So we're getting ready for spring, as you can see, and we're excited about the new season. We have to make room as we do every season. And thanks for mentioning this shoe and catching catching your eye because it's, it's, we think it's a dandy. It's a it's a bold shoe, but bold is kind of the thing when it comes well, to spring, right? Well, a lot of these colored laces, they're putting colored laces in a lot of your old shoes. You can put, buy uh, uh, $8 pair of laces and kind of uh, brighten them up, make them a little more fashion Stand forward. Stand out a little Stand bit. Stand out a little bit. Have a little fun with your clothing. We believe in that. All right. Well, hey, uh, clones are standing out a little bit on the basketball they court. They are. Um Wednesday night's game was a tough one, oh, to say a, the least. It was a tough one to stomach, but I, I think that um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not too down on this team. I right. think that this team, they got five row games left. I think they win two of them. I think they win out at home. I think it's an NCAA tournament team. I still do. A lot of people getting down on them due to the road woes. Right. I'm not yet. I, well, I they're they're not playing other than the tech game. It's not like they're playing horrible basketball on the road. It's just things are happening and it, it I eventually it's going to click. I, I truly believe that. And I think this team could go off and win at Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas. They can beat any of those teams. Right. I truly believe that. Well, they're certainly capable of beating anybody that's probably left on their schedule. Mm -hmm. To be honest mm -hmm. with you, they're 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 very talented athletic ball club, as we've talked about many times. Yeah, they have to put it all together. Something's got to click, and and I I believe I, I happen to agree with you. They're an NCAA team, you know. Going on the road in any of these major conferences to me is is very difficult in the basketball world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's difficult even in the football world to go on the road and win. It sure but in is. the basketball, when well, you're in you're in unfriendly confines when you go on the road, and it's you have to have uh, almost mistake free in the last four or five minutes because to me that's the game. Yeah, and if you make the crucial mistake like we saw happening, a foul here and miss free throw opportunities that go on, you're you're just at home. You just have a dis. When you're away from home, you have a disadvantage. You do. Right? And so, I, I'm a, I'm a hundred percent agreeance with you. I think it's a it's a uh, NCAA team, Chris. I think it's a team that's going to. Uh, if they can win out at home and get a couple three on the road, could get seated right to give the people a lot of trouble uh, in the tournament. I think so too. And as we were talking about before we went on camera, you know, last year's team got that eight nine seed right. in the tournament, and you know, you had Kentucky. Well, I'll tell you one thing: there ain't no Kentucky this year. So, no. I don't. That's best case scenario, probably an eight nine for right. Iowa State. I think it's more like a ten eleven, which I think actually is a advantageous for Iowa State if you can. Well, looking at the that. conference and what's going on, probably 10-11 yeah. is really... Because then, I mean, a 2-3 seed yeah, you in the be... second round, I mean, you, Iowa State, you've seen they can beat teams of that caliber. They're, you they're can capable. play with them. Like like we mentioned, Kansas could be the number one overall seed in the NCAA right. tournament at this point. So I think we're you know we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. But at the end of the day, the, the point of this is we, we still both believe it's a tournament team. I didn't expect them to win that game on Wednesday night regardless. They played better than I thought they would. Right. I, I'm, I'm fairly encouraged. It's hard for some people to grasp that, but I really am. 
Well, you know, you, the, the very, very close uh, loss at, at Kansas, very uh, winnable games at Kansas and at Oklahoma State, as mm -hmm. we saw. You know, they didn't play very well the the, the, the Texas uh, Tech game. But I'd like to have that one back. That was just not a well Worst game of the year. Not a well-played game, and that's going to happen. But I think what you're saying, and, and I would agree, that this team, one of these days, is going to wake up and they're saying, hey, we only have so many games left, and we're going to see a team that's going to come together, have some leadership, and find out that they can beat anybody in the nation on a given night. And and, uh, and that's the quality team they are. As Fred Hoiberg likes to say, they can shoot the heck out of the ball. That's they, his good quote. And they, they, have, they have some shooters on the team, don't they? They sure do. Well, again, we're at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Sale, Tim. It goes from now until Valentine's Day. Valent well, the Valentine's week. So I, I think it's officially over about the 11th or 10th or 11th of February. I should be knowing that, but I think it's the... It's just before Valentine's week, so you could get some uh, for your Valentine even. Yeah, and well, that, actually, that's kind of what was going through my mind. And a great savings, and if you don't find it in, on the sale racks, we have some great little red items that are coming in for, for spring, a sweater, a shirt, that kind of thing. But uh, come in and see us. We've had a lot of the Fanatic fans coming in lately, and we sure appreciate uh, your support at Mr. B, and we'd ask you to come in and say hello, if nothing else, and say you're a Fanatic fan. We'd like that. All right, Tim Sitzman here. Come say hi to Tim and the guys. 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive, Iowa. We'll see Tim next week. See, we'll see you next you as week well. and uh, go clones. Go clones. Big games coming up tomorrow at Hilton Coliseum. Of course, we'll have complete coverage of everything right here at CycloneFanatic.com.